Hello all, I am Dipali Shende and today we will see the split range and inferential control. In last lecture we have seen about the selective control. So uh, in selective control when there is a one manipulated variable and more than one control variable present in the system so selective control is used in that case. Now in this uh, split range control if there are several manipulated variables but a single output variable so in that case split, split range control is used. That means the coordination among different manipulated variables is carried out by using this split range control. Now you can see in this example you will see there are number of boilers are placed over here and there is a one controlled variable that is the steam header. We are controlling the pressure of steam over here. So there is a one loop that is the pressure control group over here. So each and every boiler it has generating the steam over here. So this steam is get collected in the steam header. That means there are a n number of manipulated variables and one control variable is over here. This PT is the pressure transmitter and PC is the pressure controller over here. So this is uh, this figure shows the typical example of the split range uh, controller. So here overall steam header pressure is to be man maintained constant through pressure control loop. Okay. So the command from the pressure controller is used for controlling simultaneously the steam of flow rates from the boilers in parallel. So there is a single input, uh, single output variable that is the steam header pressure while there are a number of manipulated variables that is the discharge from different boilers over there. So this steam pressure is gets uh, controlled by taking the controlling signal from this pressure controller. So this is the best example of the uh, split range control scheme. Now next we will see the inferential control. So this inferential control uh, when controlled variables are difficult to measure uh, uh, and are estimated from some easy uh, to major process variables uh, and then uh, it can be used in the feedback control. So this um, here the inferential control system is used. So it has an excellent performance so, such as disturbance resisting. This is the disturbance resisting and set point tracking. Uh, uh, however, the application of this inferential control is restricted when strong load disturbance exists in the system or stable control accuracy and response speed are highly required in the system. So in that case, this inferential control has the limitations over here. So you can see in this diagram, there is a set point controller process primary output we are getting another secondary output from the process is giving to the inferential estimator over here okay uh, if adaptive then this output we are taking okay so inferential uh, estimator output gives as the feedback okay delay free infer uh, inferential output is given to the comparator and it gets compared and again given to the controller. So it's a estimator work as a estimator. So this is normally uh, used you know, to measure the process variables like temperature, pressure, flow to infer more difficult to measure the quantities such as composition and molecular weight of that particular process variables. So uh, it can substantially reduce analyzer delay. Uh, this controller is much less expensive in terms of capital and operating cost and can provide measurements that are not available any other way. So if there is, an, uh, there is no any other option to measure the variable, so in that case, this inferential uh, controller is used 
in the system. So there are uh, again uh, the advantages of this inferential control that is it enables the use of a desired control loop despite the lack of measurement devices. Uh, it is free from dependence on delayed data or offline analysis and leading to better control that's why. Also it has few disadvantage that is knowledge on the process must be known uh, while using this controller and wrong estimation leads to wrong control action and hence determinant to process operation. So these are the advantages and disadvantages of the information.